Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Inkdependence.com. I'm Mike and this is the Shown Design Pen. This is the original one. Well, actually, it's not quite the original one. This is actually the Model 2. Um, I met Ian Shown of Shown Design a few years ago at DC, probably... I don't know, probably three, four years ago. Must have been, man, must have been like four, I guess now. Um, and he sent this out to me just about a year ago, and I've actually been using this uh, ever since. He didn't actually send it out for review just because uh, we're pals, and he's like, hey, check this out. So this is the packaging that this thing comes in. Uh, the packaging, uh, I believe, is made for him by Write Notepads and Co., or at least uh, I'm pretty sure that's true. And it is really cool packaging. Ian is quite the designer guy. You open this up. This opens up like a little book. Then you have this cool card with a pen and stuff. There's also a notebook included. This is his card, shownedesign.com. You can check that out. You can also find him on Instagram and such, where he's got cool videos of like his shop setup and all this sort of thing he's doing now. This is a nice little notebook that is made for him by Write Notepads & Co. in Baltimore. Uh, Ian was in Baltimore until recently. Uh, he has just moved out of Baltimore and into a new space. And this is a cool notebook because it's dots on one side and lines on the other. I really like it. i got to start using this thing. I actually kept it in the box and forgot about it because I was going to do this review. And then I just kind of, you know, took me a while to get around to it. On this card, he has things like the customer's name and the model. This is the Model 2. The Model 2 has... Uh, a clip on it. The rest of them did not. This is uh, data purchase 62618. So yeah, like a year ago. And real retailer Ian himself. Let's put this over here. This is the shown design. Model 2. This is a ballpoint pen, so a lot of you are like, well, gonna click off now, but hey, wait for a sec. Um, this is uh, anodized aluminum, and it's a pretty heavy pen, actually. Uh, thick walls, good-sized thing, nice sturdy clip. Uh, this is a pen that I just throw in my, my pocket with keys or whatever else. I think I found, as I was inspecting closely, there was like one chip in the finish... I don't know, like up here somewhere? You know, the one that Ian has in his pocket is all beat up. And I think it looks, you know, gathers some character as you do that. Uh, looking at the outside of the pen, you'll see there are three little uh, lines right up here at the top of the cap. Right there. You'll see the clip is held on with these nice bolts. It is flat and unadorned. It actually doesn't say, like, shown design or anything on this pen. You just got to look at it and know that's a shown design. At the end, you'll see there are threads. This is a, uh, that's actually another place you get a little bit of wear is on threads, but that's not shocking at all, especially not after a year, a year of use. Um, it is a thread screw to post pen. And you'll also see this nice little screw, like a little set screw in the end, and that's how you'll access the, uh, the ink cartridge. So uh, you unscrew this guy right here, and this is what you have for a pen. Now this is, for sh short notes and such, a perfectly cromulent length for a pen. It's uh, it's fairly short, but uncapped, it is 3.87 inches, so just under four. And uh, I'll put uh, I'll put sizes and all that sort of jazz at the end too, if you don't want to make note of it now. But that is uh, that is long enough for me to use um, unposted for short notes. If you want to use it for longer, just screw on the back. It doesn't take many turns. It's about like one turn feels like to put that on the back and then you have a very nicely sized pen uh it's a little bit back weighted but not bad for my hand i don't think uh just sound off in the comments if you got one of these and you find it too heavy post it but i don't it is a fairly heavy pen i mean it's not it's not like super light it's 1.2 ounces but that's not really that bad especially for a metal pen uh you'll see here at the uh top you have these little screw threads right there it's another little section of wear which is, again, not bad after a year. This is a ballpoint. Uh, this one's running a, um, a space pen refill at the moment. You can get a kit which will let you put D2 refills in here, and that opens up the refill space wide. I mean, there's all kinds of things in that D2 space. Um, all different colors, all different styles of pen, um, and you can buy that from his site. Now, a cool feature about this one, especially with this clip, is you'll notice that the kept the clip kicks out here at the end and uh, that you've got this set screw that you need to unscrew in order to get to the refill and replace that when you need to replace it. That is the, that's how you do it. You set the stick the end of here into the set screw and that takes it out. And then you want the, this out of here. There we go. Like this. Yeah, so no big deal. Uh, single piece construction here aside from this set screw basically. This is just one chunk that is machined by Ian. And then uh, anodized. He's got some anodizers. This stuff is all made in the USA, if that's important to you. And I think it's pretty cool. This is all handcrafted. 
Ian is making these himself. Let me uh, go ahead and screw this guy down so I can put this away. There we go. And uh, that's all it takes to change the, the, the ink refill if you want. I have I was a little dodgy about the space pin refill, honestly. But I, uh, I actually haven't had any problems with the space pin refill at all. This has been the best of the space pin refills that I've used. Uh, but if you don't like the space pin, because it can be a little blobby sometimes. I mean, the pros are it'll write like underwater and upside down and in space and on oil or whatever. But... Um, if you don't like the the sometimes slightly blobby performance that you get from these guys, I haven't had much of a problem with it, but you can replace it with D2s, and those are great. Um, let's look at some size comparisons. I'll do a little doodle for you, and uh, we'll call it a day. All right, hold on one sec. Okay, so here it is next to a bunch of other pens that are in this sort of smaller pocket space. Uh, first, we have the Lamy Pico, which is another little ballpoint pocket pen. We've got the Shown Design uh, Pocket 6, which you'll see in a video very soon, or maybe you already have. Uh, this is, of course, the Shown Design Model 2, or version 2. Uh, what is this one called? Uh, yeah, Model 2. Uh, then we have the Kaveco Sport. Then we have a Franklin Christoph Pocket 45. This is the Pilot MYU, the Mu. This is a Franklin Christoph uh, Pocket 66, and then the Sailor Pro Gear, which is kind of a full size pen, but also like a little on the pockety side. So, uh, this is what they look like, all capped and such. And you can see this is a fairly medium sized pen. If you like the size of the 45 or the Kaveco Sport, this is going to be perfect for you. Let's go ahead and uncap them or extend them in the case. Look at this thing, man. Anyway, extend them in the case of that one. This is actually, some of these are, 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 are most of these are actually fountain pens, but uh, you know, that's what I've got mostly for pocket pens. All right, so there you go. And you can see that um, capped, or uh, posted rather, with the screw, uh, screw to post thing here, this pen is actually fairly long. So posted, this is five and a half, a little over five and a half inches long. And um, I think it's, uh, I mean, it's just as long as a, as a Pro Gear. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just as long uh, as the, uh, the Pocket 66 and the Mu. These are all uh, pens that I've used quite a lot, including this one. So here's the thing. Um, I'm mostly a fountain pen guy, and you all know this. But also, I do love a good ballpoint. And I think it's important, or at least very useful for me, to have a ballpoint in my pocket pretty much all the time. I usually have a ballpoint and a fountain pen in some configuration, usually in like one of these duo sleeves from Rickshaw or something like that. Uh, because it makes it very convenient, but that means like when I want to sign receipts or whatever I've got this if I want to hand it to somebody else and I don't want to you know deal with like hey Do you not have to use a fountain pen or whatever, bro? Uh, I don't have to deal with that I just hand them this thing and everybody knows how to use this immediately uh, The section is fairly uh, thin in diameter the diameter here is actually 8.8 .8 millimeters, which is a little lower than what I, I tend to prefer. I like around 10, but it's close enough, man. I, I have no problem using it. Okay, let's do a little doodle right quick Okay, so this is the shown design. Uh, version 2.0. Uh, and this is uh, black, aluminum, and uh, this is the space pin refill. And uh, yeah, man, it's a ballpoint. It works perfectly well. I've used some of these space pen refills, and they were very disheartening. Um, they would skip and all that sort of thing. I haven't had any problems with this refill. I mean, you do see a little bit of, like, maybe up here. You get a little blobbiness. Uh, sometimes you write really quickly and just, like, push it along the page, and it was, like, a little bit of blob. But uh, it's not too bad, and I'm not getting any smearing or anything like that. It dries quickly enough. So, uh, yeah, anyway, this is uh, this is a refill that I've grown to like. I was going to get that D2 thing from him, and I just never bothered because I like this one. All right, folks, so this has been the Shown Design Model 2 or Version 2 of the original Shown Design pen with the pocket clip. You can get these clipped. You can get them unclipped. You can get them all kinds of wild designs. You can get them in all kinds of different uh, configurations as far as materials, and uh, they start at around... Uh, uh, 70 or 80 bucks, I believe, which is, look, fairly expensive for a pocket ballpoint pen, but it's like in the same realm as a whole bunch of other stuff that's been coming out lately in the, the space that we all like. And um, so, like, if you want to have a pen in your pocket that's pretty much indestructible, uh, the Shown Design one, if you dig the look and the feel and this th sort of thing, 
This is a solid, solid pen. So check out ShownDesign.com. And uh, hey, if you get a chance, tell them I sent you because that lets makers know that we reviewers are doing a thing that helps them sometimes. Um, and uh, I will see y'all later on. Peace out. Hello, folks. <coughs> oh, goodness.